starting off with the overhead press. The two main common mistakes I see when performing this exercise is, first of all, not getting the exact hand width you want to, which is just closer than shoulder width, because people usually go wider than they need to, which is what I used to do, or too close. And the second mistake is not being able to stabilize yourself properly. And the way you wanna do this is by squeezing your glutes. And you'll find a massive difference in how much weight you could also push because the more stable you feel, the more power you can transfer in pushing the weight over your head. In order to increase my overhead press using a barbell, I've decided that incorporating some isolation work for my front delt, not for hypertrophy, because that's not my main goal here. My main goal is to just increase the amount of weight I can rawly push over my head. And my thought behind this is that if I strengthen my triceps, my front delt, and my upper chest more, because the upper chest is actually engaged in an overhead press, then the lack of core stability and lower back stability, which is the main factor holding me back, the pushing muscles that I'm training could just brute force it because it does take longer to build core strength and lower back strength compared to push and power, for example. The situation I just described is very common for people who used machines a lot and have transitioned to free weights and may experience a lower back injury, for example, because if you're doing a chest supported row compared to a barbell row, that chest supported row is minimally engaging your core and your lower back, if at all. And then as soon as you move on to a bent over barbell row, for example, then all of your pulling muscles are used to doing it but then your core and lower back isn't used to keeping up with that amount of weight, which is what will lead to the injury. So if I do, for example, brute force, the overhead press, but my lower back and core aren't able to keep up with that amount of weight, then I am essentially setting myself up for injury. By all means, doing some form of isolation and complementary movements are good, but that's why I always have one main compound lift in my workouts, which in my opinion is the sole reason as to why if you want to get better at certain exercise, such as the overhead press, the most efficient way of doing this is by doing the overhead press. Another example is pull-ups that I use quite often, and it's that lat pull-downs don't transfer very well to pull-up strength because your core isn't engaged when doing a lat pull-down, whereas when you're doing regular bodyweight pull-ups, your core is heavily engaged. To sum up this push day, it's very upper chest intensive because the shoulder press does mainly target the front delt, but as I mentioned previously, it does also engage the upper chest. Then I'll move on to incline bench, in which the main focus is the upper chest. Then an incline dumbbell press, which again is focusing on the upper chest. Some form of lateral raise, whether that's using dumbbells or cables, and finishing off with dips. This is because most people, including myself, well, I used to have an overdeveloped lower chest relative to my upper chest. And that's because I was prioritizing many lower chest exercises, such as dips, flat bench, flat dumbbell presses, compared to prioritizing incline exercises, which is what gives you that saggy look. The way I overcame this is by, again, just prioritizing and doing so much upper chest volume compared to the lower chest, which is why dips are the only lower chest exercise in this whole push day. If you do struggle with doing bodyweight dips, then I'd recommend using resistance bands or an assisted dip machine. But going back to the main point is, if you do want to do more dips, and say you can only do three, for example, then doing those three dips over and over again without any assistance until you get four dips and then move up to five dips, six dips, is the best way to progress and build strength so that you can push your own body weight. In order to target your chest when you're executing dips, you want to make sure you have a slight lean forward, whereas if you want to target your triceps, make sure that you're pressing up and down in more of a straight fashion. I hope this video helped. Make sure you like and subscribe and chat to you later.